Hello, Yancy. Hello, Edwin. How are you? Uh, good evening, everybody. Did you have a good day today? Yes, it was a good day. Very hard, but it was a good day. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Sometimes it's a lot of work, right? Yes, and we have many people uh, sick um, for COVID. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, it's true. In, in my company, too, a lot of people are sick. Wow. Mm -hmm. But you have no, no COVID? No. 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 Okay. Good, good. No. And you, Yancy? Are you okay? No. Yes, I am. I'm okay. No COVID? No the problem? Family, the family, the my mother-in-law, uh, uh, mother -in hey, my uh, father-in-law yes uh -huh. have a COVID mm. yes in this moment or before in this moment see sí, in quarantine oh. quarantine they are in quarantine okay yes. all right okay and you Karen how are you hi teacher Good evening. Hello, Karen. Uh, I'm doing good. And, and what did you do today? Uh, I was in staying in my house. Mm -hmm. And it, my day was calm. Okay. Uh, uh, but uh, very hot. Very hot? Yes. Okay. And Tell me, Karen, do you work from home? Uh, no, I have a small business. Ah, your own business? Yes. Okay, and what do you do, Karen? I, I send a fat food. You repeat? I'm sorry, Karen, it's hard to hear you. You what? I send a, I sell a fat fast food oh fast food fast food yes, yes. okay like a like a little restaurant uh, no delivery delivery okay okay so do you make the food or only the delivery karen uh, i make i make okay the food. Uh, lunch dinner breakfast i i sell a uh, chicken wing and fried chicken wings yes okay uh, where do you sell san salvador san miguel santa ana only in my city Cobotepec. okay all right a hey, good good idea with the pandemic right yes mm -hmm. exactly yes i know a lot of people they began their business in the pandemic Yes. And they, and it's a good business. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now the necessity. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, before we get started, guys, are there any questions um, about the platform? Any problems? Anything that you had? Yes, I have problem, problems in the lesson five, letter E. Let's but take a look. Yes, it's five. Okay, exam. no problem. Five letter E uh, in the final exam. Yes, the final exam. Okay, let's take a look, Jan. A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Let's take a look and answer her question. All right, what is the question in five letter E? Yes. Um, when you say, please tell Ken um, the test on Tuesday is at 1 p.m. It's only 
De, esa es la única que me salió buena, de ahí las demás no las puedo hacer. Would you ask, podrías decirle a Alex, would you ask Alex, meet me after class no, today? That's incorrect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, no, Por eso te salió mal, no está correcta. Uh -huh. And the other one? Um, could you tell Marcus? Um, no, es que todas me salen mal, no sé, ahí qué es lo sí, que hago. Sí, por eso, pero si no me decís, no te puedo decir que por qué te sale mal. <risa> es que creo que la misma técnica utilicé. Could you tell, Marcus, uh -huh. there, there is a baseball. Sí, esa está mal también. Ok, ¿y la siguiente? Y la same. Please, ask Paula, eh, come to the picnic. También está mala. Uh -huh. Ok, mm -hmm. yes, ok. That's, that's ok, it's, it's the, it's, ya entendí por qué todas están malas. Porque no le agregaste la palabra que le hacen falta. Solo copiaste la frase que está ahí. Entonces, Ajá. es importante que regreses a la sección 5 y mires los videos. Porque, me puse. <risas> Ajá, porque cuando vos usas una persona, no tenés que agregar palabras. Porque solo pones, please tell, y la persona, Miguel, Ángel, uh, Edwin, Uh -huh. Y la, la información, pero cuando vos no usas una persona, tenés que agregar palabras. Por ejemplo, si usas acción, la acción es, nunca va a ser solo la palabra, va a ser, uh, please tell Edwin to practice more. Please tell him that we are going to the movies. Please tell him when. O sea, le tenés que agregar palabras, por eso te ha salido malo. Mm. Uh -huh. Conectores. Entonces, Sí, los conectores, exacto, Yancy. Entonces, cuando uno solo usa el nombre, no hay necesidad de conector porque es una persona. Pero cuando es una acción, tenés que tener un conector. Tenés que tener to, for, when, algún conector. Eso es lo que, por eso cuando te escuché, cabal, ah, ya sé. Inmediatamente, ya sé porque es el conector que no tenés. Ya, yeah, ok. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, you're welcome. Entonces, solo mirar el video a ver si puedes identificar cuál. Y si no, cuando lleguemos a los videos, ya vas a ver cuáles son los conectores que debe de usar. Pero son okay. esos que te di de ejemplos. Tú, eh, por ejemplo, that, what, esos. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. All right, good. Any other questions? No importa, no tiene que ser en la que estamos. Así como Yancy, ella está adelantando, está intentando, está haciendo un gran esfuerzo. Excelente. Ella ya está por finalizar el examen de la unidad 5. Entonces, no hay problema. Si tienen alguna duda o algo, ahorita, si no, empezamos. Any questions, anything? No? Ok. Then let's begin. Excellent. All right. Today we are in finishing unit four today we are finishing unit four we are looking at questions with how remember yesterday we finished the idea and we learned a lot of questions for a uh, distance measurements uh, where is san miguel how tall is how far do you remember yes yes excellent so let's take a look at some of the questions that we have just to help us review. It's about 1,900 meters deep. Okay, let's take a look very quickly. Here we have, how far? What is how far? When you say how far, is that? Tan lejos. Tan lejos, yes, the distance, correct. What is, it? What is the, the distance? Is the distance. Distancia, that's right. That is the distance, how far. Okay, how big? Grande. That's right. grande. Like this. this is how far this is how big right so how far exactly how big sorry how big the all of the area how big what about how high that's right how high you go up 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 good how deep how down 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 exactly good how long Qué tan largo. Qué tan largo. Correct. How, and the difference, how far and how long, okay? How far is one point and the other. The two points, the between. This is yeah. how far. How long is how one. Long? One thing, the distance. This is how long, okay? How long. How hot? Caliente, caluroso. The temperature, caluroso. The temperature up. How cold? The temperature down. The down. temperature down. down. Easy, yes or yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. 
So in this moment, we are going to practice only review, question, answer, no conversation, no conversation, only question, answer. So for example, Cecilia, how far is Mexico City from San Salvador? Wow, I think like uh, 2,000 kilometers. <laughs> Okay, good. Carla, how big is, how big is New York City? I don't know, but I think it's uh, I don't know. Uh, 1000 square kilometers. Exactly. Y eso es lo que quiero que practiquen. Fíjense que no es lo mismo how far 1000 kilometers que how big la respuesta cambia. Como menciona Carla y Cecilia, I don't know, I don't know. Yo no estoy buscando el número correcto. Estoy buscando la forma correcta. El número lo van a aprender cada quien, pero la forma, eso es lo que tienen que tener correcto. Cuando hacemos how big is square, square miles, square kilometers. Eh, cuando hacemos how high, tengo que contestar con how high. Tengo que contestar meters high, kilometers high. Or feet. Or high. feet. Ok, uh -huh. Or feet. Or feet, exacto. It's 12,250 feet, okay? Or you can say 50 feet in high. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to practice, okay? So right now with the partner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven questions, seven answers. Seven answers, seven questions. Just seven, seven. Okay. Only review, only review. It's okay? Okay. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta que no les quedó claro que cómo se hace o qué significa? Ok. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Perfect. Let's go. Only five minutes. Quickly, quickly, quickly with the partners. Ok. Carlos, Daniel, can you join the group? Ah, perfect, perfect, excellent. Neda, how are you?
And Neda, you okay? Okay, any questions? Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia este grado Celsius? Ah, excellent. Degree, degree. agree? Gris? No, degrees. Degree, okay. No, no, no. Pero primero es degree. Con y ese, con es... ese, con ese. Degrees. Degrees, degrees. Uh -huh. Primero va degrees y después va Celsius. Ah, okay, so it, uh, va a ser, por ejemplo, 30. Degrees Celsius, 20 ah, okay. degrees Fahrenheit. Ah, mm -hmm. ok, ok, ok. Good. Y cuando es temperatura alta es este grab y el otro es down. El, el, por ejemplo, up Ajá, is up. hot. O déjame Ajá, ponerme. Hot, mm -hmm. up. Hot. Very mountainous. Hot es caliente. Ajá. Get up. No, no, get up es despertarse. Así, lo voy a proyectar ahorita y me decís, a ver, para estar es claro. Que, es que lo que pasa es que en la respuesta donde dice, how hot, eh, dice, it gets it up, gets too. Ah, sube, y ah. el otro, en it how cold, up. it go, goes down. Correcto. It gets up, es que Siempre sube. tiene que uno que contestar así. No, it gets, no, puede ser. Eh, aquí, por ejemplo, usan it gets up to. Es una expresión uh -huh. bien común. Que sube hasta arriba. Ajá, uh -huh. sube hasta 23 grados. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Arriba de los 23 grados. En salvadoreño decimos llega. Okay. Decimos Ajá. llega a. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. No necesariamente tiene que contestar uno así, pues solamente puede decir about 22 eh, degrees Celsius. Casi, casi. Solo vas a poner it is. It, it is, is uh -huh. about 23 degrees Celsius. Exactly. Okay, it okay. is okay. about 10 degrees Celsius. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Good, you're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, excellent. Now it's time for us to practice with our partners. Here we have, we have four, very simple. You are going to make that sentence. You are going to use how. You and your partner decide how to make the questions, right? Very easy, only four questions, two minutes. Only two minutes, it's not necessary a long time. So, we ready? Yes, remember, this is Great. platform 4.13. 4.13 with your partner, two minutes, let's go. Okay.
Hey, Neida, you ready? Okay, you guys ready? Any questions? Siento que fue muy poquito tiempo. Es que solo son cuatro preguntas. <risa> la primera no quedó. <risa> no, es que no tenía, me costó hallar en la plataforma y perdí tiempo. Ah, ok, ok. Let's try together. Let's check. No problem. Okay. Okay. Let's make sure it's clear. Ok. Let's see. Angels Falls is 973 meters high. What is the question? How high? How high? How high is, is Angels Falls? Angels Falls. Okay. How high is right? How high is Angels Falls? Okay. What about there? California how, is how, how, how big? big. How big is California? California. How big? Okay. Good. How big is California? Here, the Nile is 6,607 kilometers long. How long? How long, how long, is the Nile? How long? Good. The Nile. How long is the Nile? And the last one? How, how hot? How hot is Washington, D.C.? Is yeah. Washington, D.C.? Let me go back. I don't know what happened. In the summer. Yeah. Me desapareció. Okay, hang on. <laughs> how hot is Washington, D.C., correct? Yeah. Correct. Okay, let's check the last one. There we go. Here, I'll show you like this. Exactly. How hot is Washington, D.C.? En la número cuatro, tengan cuidado. Porque tienen que copiarlo exactamente como está. Coma, punto, punto, coma. Si no, les va a salir mal. Tengan mucho cuidado con esta parte. Sí, porque en esa el idioma está dando. Va a poner y poner, no me agarra. Uh -huh. Eso le quería preguntar, ¿Es, ¿es correcta la forma en la que está escrito así Washington, Washington DC? Porque sí. o sea, yo normalmente lo había visto sin la coma después del Washington. No, no, no siempre Porque tiene es parte que ir. del nombre. No, no, no. Siempre tiene que ir Washington y después tiene que ir la coma. Sí, porque a mí me daba también ese lío y, y, y yo lo ponía sin la coma, ¿verdad? Y así me estuve dando el tiempo hasta que pues lo puse ya a contar cuál está ahí. No, porque si lo si no le pones la el Washington, si no le pones la coma, estás hablando uh -huh. de otro lugar que queda como unos 1600 kilómetros de distancia diferente. Es a state. De another Washington is a state. It's another Washington, correct. Es otro Washington. Uh -huh. Correct. It's another one. Mm -hmm. Like for Salvador, right? Yeah. You have to put Richard. a Salvador, Central San Salvador. If no, es Salvador puede ser el de Brasil. Teacher. Uh -huh. eh, a mí ninguna me, me salió. Bueno. Lo pusiste mal. Te voy a enseñar. Eh, Aquí está. Bueno, de, de hecho que lo copié. Y lo no, pero no lo copié. Para que no me saliera mal. Ponelo bien. Ah. Uh, creo... Ah, creo que por el signo de interrogación. Probablemente. Oh. It's okay, Carlos. Eh, sorry. Sí, era por el signo de interrogación. Sorry. Ok, exacto. Acuérdense que si es pregunta, tienen que ponerlo, si no, no es como en español. Eh, ¿Comiste? ¿Comiste? O sea, no solo es la entonación, uh -huh, sino que tiene que ir. All right. You ready? Yes. 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 No questions? No. Okay, perfect. No Let's... about this. For this topic, no. 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 We begin June 5? Yes. Five. <laughs> no lo empecemos si tengan duda. Asegúrense. Después ahí están en el grupo. Es que a mí no me salió esto. Es que no vi. Yo en la unidad 3. Es que alguien tiene la respuesta. No, ahorita. Pregunten, pregunten. Sin pena. Ok. Y si no, igual pregunten en el grupo. Ahí le vamos a ayudar. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and continue then. Good. We are going now beginning exercise 5. Unit 5. Ok. Oh. Unit 5. 
It's nice. I like this unit. It's, we are going to talk about the future with present continuous and be going to. Future with present continuous and be going to. Okay, first, do you remember the future? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Normally, normally we use going to, right? I am going to, for example. Uh -huh. I'm going to visit. I'm going to go. Uh -huh. I'm going to visit. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm going to I'm eat. Gonna. I'm going to eat. I'm going to visit. I'm going to go. I'm, uh -huh. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Exactly, exactly. The correct pronunciation is I'm going to. The common pronunciation is I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. The correct, I'm, gonna. I'm going to. And the normal, you I'm gonna. a lot, I'm gonna. It is a difference, no difference. Only the difference, the pronunciation for the person. I'm gonna and I'm going to. It's okay? Yes. Okay, okay perfect. Now, this is the future, right? Also, we have the present continuous. Do you remember the present continuous? Doing. Yes, when you when finish the verb. Doing. Correct. The finish the verb. I-N-G. I-N-G. Exactly. For example, I am cooking. Study. Ah, I am Being. cooking. Dying. This is present continuous. What I mean. But, okay, the difference for the future is we need a future time. So, as an example, you can say, I am cooking. cooking. I am cooking after class. Ah, this is the present continuous for the future. Okay. I am cooking lunch tomorrow, for example. This is the I present continuous for the future. It's okay. Remember, I am cooking now. In the future, I am cooking for tomorrow. I am cooking after class. I am cooking in Christmas. I am cooking for Valentine's Day. This is the future. But uh, también se puede decir, I will cook lunch tomorrow. Se puede, pero no significa lo mismo. Me queda claro. Perdón, Jens, ¿qué? O sea, no, the difference. Eh, going es para actividades próximas, Will es para una, a futuro lejano. No, no, no. Es los dos, no importa el tiempo. La diferencia es que going to es para que está planeado. Ya lo planeaste. Y Will es que no está planeado. Todavía no. no. Probabilidad. Es probabilidad, lo estás pensando. Ok. I will go. Okay. ¿Qué vas a hacer para el día de Valentín? What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? No sé. Si no sabes, es el I will. Si ya lo tienes planeado, I'm going to. ¿Qué vas a hacer para diciembre, para Navidad? No sé. I will. Si ya tengo, voy a comprar boletos, voy a ir de viaje, es I'm going to. El tiempo no importa. Es planeado o no planeado. Going to or will. Hoy sí, ya. Hoy sí. Y el going to, el going to tiene la misma función okay. que el present continuous. I am cooking, I am reading, I am listening, porque eso significa que las acciones están planeadas, solo que diferentes estructuras. Ok. So, let's watch a video. Let's watch a little video of making plans. Hi, ready to start? This time we will study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. 
So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Say. Okay. First, let's look. We have going to. What are you doing? Are you doing anything? We have the future, right? But the important is first the vocabulary. Do you understand, for example, bowling? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Galaxy bowling. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The other vocabulary is okay? No. Uh, after, no. After, one. after war. After is after the activity. This is afterwards. So here. Okay. Afterwards. Ah, so after the activity. Okay. It, it's okay or no? Después de. Después de. Después de eso. Uh -huh. Exactly. When, when say, Lynn say, say Miguel, dime Miguel. Is it correct? Say, yeah. Lynn, 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 Lynn. Say, <laughs> say Lynn. What are you doing? Ah, okay. No, no dime, pero more, more or less. Ah, es como que, hey, Miguel. Es, say Miguel. Mm -hmm. um, Yeah. What is the meaning of soccer match? match? It's like a fast. Partido de fútbol. Mm -hmm. Alianza, fast, Real Madrid, Barcelona. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. The soccer. O sea, soccer. Yo creí que era soccer game, juego de soccer, de fútbol. No, no, no game. Soccer match. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's okay to say game. Mm -hmm. The other words are okay? No, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. Okay. All right. Good. Perfect. So you can see we can make the questions. What are you? And then the verb ing, right? Doing. For example, what are you doing? Okay. You can use I am going to, or here, the same. Are you doing anything? Or what are you going to do tomorrow? You can use different forms, the same for the answer, but all of them are for making plans, the different forms for the future. Okay. So for those different activities, is the same forms. We can say, what are you going to do? What are you doing? The same meaning, no problem in the difference, okay? Now we're going to look at exactly how is the conversations, how we use the grammar. Mister, um, mm -hmm. what about when you, you need to say, I'm, I'm cooking, in this moment, I'm cooking, is not correct? Yes, it's correct. But you say, I am cooking lunch tomorrow. Correct. Only for the, the time, the tomorrow, is the difference. For the future. Para traducirlo, uh -huh. tomorrow is the future, okay. No, no, I'm sorry, Yancy. Sorry, Yancy, I, 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 I don't understand the question. Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, in this moment, I'm cooking. Correct, I'm cooking. Is the meaning this moment correct? It's not future. It's not future. It's not future. Okay. When I say I am cooking lunch tomorrow, is for a, only for the the word tomorrow is the future. Correct, Yancy. Is correct. Okay. Or for example, I am cooking after class. After class is future. Okay. Yes. Is the same the Spanish? If you put the time at the end, is you change for future. If you put the time at the end, it's for future. Yes, okay. Okay. So now we're going to look a little bit more in the structure, how we use it. The present continuous and the future with going to. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. 
Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until 5. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we planned actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous, instead we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus verb, plus ing. Examples. She's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus be plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Okay. First, is okay the idea, the concept, how to, do, how to make it? ¿Les quedó claro cómo, cómo es que lo formulamos? ¿Cómo es que lo construimos? Yes. Yes. For example, for the question here, aquí está WH, o sea, esta es la regla, pero la, más forma, la forma más fácil es solo imitar esto. Where are you? Ah, ING. What is he? I, o sea, siempre pueden poner cualquier WH, pero van a seguir la misma regla. Solo the verb to be, the subject, and the verb with ING. Okay? Mr. it's the same when you say, what is he doing tonight? Uh, what is he going to do tonight? Correct, Yancy. It's the it's same. same. The okay. same question, the same idea. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay for everybody? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Si es cierto, quiero ver dos preguntas en el chat. Quiero ver dos preguntas. Quiero ver una pregunta con going to y quiero ver una pregunta no usando going, usando otro verbo con ing para el futuro. Tienen 60 segundos. 
nada de que, ah, mm, estoy pensando, estoy contemplando, estoy rezándole para que me venga la respuesta. No, 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 no. 60 segundos. Let's go. Correct, Carla. Ajá. Uh -huh. Karen, questions, questions. Solo preguntas, solo preguntas, Karen. Eh, Carlos, se te olvidó guitarra, el verbo. Guitarra, Carlos, se te olvidó el verbo. Where ¿Cuál era la going? otra, teacher? Uh -huh. ¿Ah? ¿Cuál era la otra? Siempre con doble H question. Siempre con doble H, pero una es con going to y otra con verbo en ING. Preguntas. Ah, okay. So, Carlos, where are you going to go? Tienes que tener un verbo siempre okay. después de going. What are you... Ok, what are you going? Daniel, no está correcto. What are you going to go this weekend? ¿Qué vas a ir este fin de semana? Está usando el what. No concuerda con la pregunta, Daniel. Are you going to cook tonight? Stephanie, correct. Are you going to go? Are you going to the church on Sunday? Edwin, más o menos. Te faltó el verbo. Are you going to go? Are you going to go to church on Sunday, Edwin? Carlos, where are you going to go after class? Correct, Carlos. Where are you going to go after class? Are you cooking tonight, Stephanie? Correct. What are you cooking tomorrow, Karen? Correct. Stephanie, where are you going to go tomorrow? Correct. Hey, pero hay muchas, pero lo que no veo, no veo a Eneida, no veo a Everson, no veo a Daniel. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Cómo que le están ganando a todos? Uh -huh. What are you going to uh, dance tomorrow? Good. What are you going to read tomorrow? Yancy, I'm going to play guitar tomorrow. Karen, she is going to... To the, Karen, no. She is, is. No es una pregunta. Tiene que cambiar la pregunta, Karen. She is going to. No es pregunta. Eh, where is she going to go tomorrow? What are you doing on Sunday? Correct, Eugenia. Very good, Eugenia. Well, where are you going to this? No, Eneida. Se te olvidó el verbo. Tiene que ir un verbo. Where are you going to? Y el verbo. Necesitas el verbo. Eh, Edwin, who is going to visit? Uh, my parents the next weekend. Muy bien, solo que para el futuro no usas da. Vas a poner who is going to visit my parents next weekend. No da. Okay. What are you thinking to do this weekend? Muy bien, Everson. Ah, al fin salió una, Everson. Me llega, me llega. Te falta una más. Eh, Daniel, ¿qué pasó con las dos tuyas? No veo nada tuyo, ni Harold. Tampoco veo Harold. ¿Ustedes ven a Harold allí? Porque yo no veo ni una de Harold ni Daniel. Where is she? is going to at the restaurant. Karen, la última que pusiste, no. Eh, where is she? When is she? Acordate que es when el verbo to be antes. No when she is. When is she? When is she going to go to the restaurant? Y faltó el verbo. Okay. What are you going to go Friday? No, Daniel. What is que? Y what are you going to go on Friday? Y go is ir, no. ¿Qué vas a ir el viernes? Sino que mejor sería where. Where are you going to go on Friday? ¿Dónde vas a ir? Ok, Daniel. And let's see. What are you going to? Ok, what are you going to celebrate your birthday? Ex Excellent. I'm going to visit my family on Sunday. Muy bien, Stephanie. Pero solo preguntas, solo preguntas. Are you going to do something after you run? Excellent, Carlos. The last one is correct, Carlos. Ok. Ha <laughs> ha. What is he cooking tomorrow? Very good, Carlos. All right. Perfect. Ok, excelente. Ya tenemos la pregunta. Ahora vamos a, ya que estamos claros cómo hacemos, ok. Ahora practicar con el compañero y con la compañera. Planes para hoy, para mañana, el fin de semana, después de clase, después del trabajo, antes, o sea, cualquier cosa, pero para el futuro. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? No, Stephanie, no, esa está incorrecta. Alguien corrígele a Stephanie. ¿Qué es lo que tiene, qué es lo que, tiene que hacer Stephanie en esa pregunta? Um. I am going to visit. Okay. Infinitive, the verb. No the visiting. verb, exactly. No visiting, no visiting. Remember, I, porque usaste es going to. Cuando no usas going to, es cuando se usa ING. Okay. Okay. Where are you going to visit next weekend? When are we going? When are we going this Saturday? No, Daniel, tampoco. Porque when to? es que ya decís cuándo. Entonces no puedes decir cuándo vamos a ir este sábado. No que cuándo vamos no, a ir. No, sorry, es que estoy eh, este, digitando tan rápido que este, me estoy aquí enredando con, lo, con las teclas. Era where, no era where. Ah, when. ok. Entonces sí, Daniel. Ay, así como escriben, así corrijo. Así que vamos, vamos, vamos. Ok, all right. 
Excellent, excellent job. Very good. Ahora, muy bien, muy buen trabajo. Excelente. Ven qué fácil es usar going to. Por eso es necesario practicar la otra forma. Porque going to le sale. Miren todos. Miren toda la respuesta. Casi todos, todos. Going to, going to, going to, going to. Pero acuérdense, ese solo es una forma de hablar del futuro. Aparte de going to, es el verbo. Are you cooking tomorrow? Are you celebrating next week? Is she visiting my mother on Saturday? Esa es la otra forma. Así que no se acostumbren solo con una, porque después no pueden expandir su vocabulario y su interacción. Okay? So right now, we're going to make partners. Y es necesario hacer cuatro preguntas. Dos con going to y dos con verbos en ING que no son going to. Dos preguntas y dos del going to y dos de las que no son going to. Entonces, yo le voy a preguntar a mi compañero o compañera cuatro preguntas. Y ellos me van a preguntar a mí cuatro. ¿Ok? No van a ser dos y dos. No, no es dos y dos. Son cuatro y cuatro. Dos going to y dos con ING. Ya tienen varias ahí en el listado. Miren, ¿cómo les ayudaron los compañeros? Lo único que tienen que hacer es practicarlo. You ready? Yes. 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 Let's go. Edwin and Ada, okay. Edwin, Almeida. Okay, Edwin. No, okay. Vamos a mover a... Eugenia. Thank you. 
Hey, Karen, you okay? I have a problem with my internet. Okay, Karen, no problem. That happens sometimes. Let's see. Mm, I don't remember in which group you were, but I put you into another group, okay? Okay. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Si yo quiero decirle, ¿cuándo irás a la playa? Es, when are you going to go to the beach? O, when are, go, when are you going to the beach? No, ¿verdad? When are going to go to the beach? No, the two are correct. Porque podemos ah, saber, okay. when are you going to the beach? El ING, when are you uh -huh. going to the beach? O, when are you going to go to the beach? To go to the beach. Ah, ok. Oh. okay. Mm -hmm. The two are okay. correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mister, is correct. I am watching TV tomorrow. It is correct. It is correct. I am watching TV tomorrow. Some bad. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yes. Is no, that is normal? The people say I am going to. Yes, I'm going to watch TV tomorrow. Mm hmm. I am going to watch TV tomorrow. It's okay. I am going to watch. I am going to watch TV tomorrow. It's also correct. I am watching TV. TV. No problem. Mm -hmm. In this moment, I watching TV. Yes, but I am. I'm watching TV tomorrow. It's correct. Okay. It's new for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Any other questions? Profe, y si yo quiero decir, I would like watching TV. No. Sin usar el to watch, porque lo correcto sería, I would like to watch. Correct. Si yo quiero decir, I would like watching TV. I would like watching uh -huh. TV. No, it's I would like to watch. Ah, uh, siempre es necesario... El tú, ¿verdad? Yo porque yo había entendido de que podía usar el watching sin el tú, si un verbo va seguido. Sí, no es necesario usar el, 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 el tú. tú. Ajá, pero no puedo usar would. Ah, so sería I like watching TV. Correct, correct. Uh -huh. I like watching. Sure. Una pregunta. Yes. Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia de preguntar con going to y preguntar con will? Si ambas son cosas que no se saben si van a pasar o no. No, eh, la going to sí se sabe, es un plan y will no es un plan. Entonces, ¿cómo siempre preguntas con going to? What are you going to do? Ese es no, lo más común es usar going to porque la persona te puede contestar si lo tienen planeado o no lo tienen planeado. 
Ah, esa es mi duda. Bueno, o sea, se puede preguntar con ambos, pero al responderlo sí, sí hay que responderlo con, bueno, ya sea uno de los dos. Ajá, con el que vas a hacer. Si lo tienes planeado, vas a hacer going to. Si no lo tienes planeado, vas a decir will. Pero para preguntar si se pueden usar los dos. Uh -huh. Yes, 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 no problem. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Profe, y el gonna, are you gonna to go? Are you going to go? Gonna, es que, es que yo he escuchado algunos, algunos que dicen gonna, you gonna, you gonna to the, to the beach. Ajá. Sin, sin usar el you're going. Dicen... No, es que, por, es, que es, es el, la combinación, es... como la gente lo dice bien rápido, ya se la acostumbró a no pronunciar Ajá. las palabras, porque are you going to go, y entonces are you gonna go. Es, es la forma de cortarlo. Entonces eso es donde sale el gana. Ajá, talking nigga. Ajá. Ok, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Any other questions? No? No. Ok, perfect. Va, vamos a ver. Nadie, nadie puede hacer preguntas con going to y todos tienen que hacer una pregunta con el ING para ver si les quedó claro. Yancy, dale, empezá. I... I'm living in Zacatecoluca. No. No. No, pregunta, solo preguntas, ah, no okay. relaciones. What are you... What... What are... It's okay, Yancy, ahí lo Don't pensé. say go, going it's to. It's okay, Yancy, it's okay, Yancy. No <laughs> going to, no going to. Pero okay. acuérdense que esa es parte del inglés, la fluidez. Porque no podemos estar en la conversación eh, 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 ahí, pero es solo de ir practicando, practicando, practicando. Carla, go. Are you visiting your parents, your parents tomorrow? Correct, Carla. Good. Cecilia, go. Are you cooking paella tomorrow? Okay, no problem. Eugenia, good job, Cecilia. Uh, what are you cooking for us? This weekend. Excellent. All right, Ojenia. Carlos Membrano. Are you, are you going? Are you going? Perdón, are you go to the swimming no. tomorrow? No, Carlos Chacón. Okay. Are you, you, are you I, ing, Carlos. Pensalo, okay. Carlos. Uh, ing, ing. Go, Carlos Membrano. Are you are talking with your neighbor to, tomorrow? Correct. You, Maybelline. Um, are you going to the party? No going to Maybelline. No going to. When are you visiting? Are you celebrating tomorrow? Okay. Are you celebrating? Okay. Are you running tomorrow? Correct, Carlos. Correct, Carlos. There you go. Y así es. Solo tenemos que usar ING. No es necesario meter tomorrow. Acuérdense. Puede ser cualquier cosa en el futuro. Para el día de Valentín, para el fin de semana, para después de clase. Are you cooking after class eh, for Valentine's on Saturday, on Sunday, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night, next week, lo que sea, pero siempre a time in the future. Ok. Ok, okay guys, very good. Acuérdense, ya deben estar terminado con la unidad de cuatro. Mañana continuamos con el futuro. Ok. Okay. okay. All right, guys. Have a good night. Okay. I see you tomorrow. Yeah, goodbye. Night, 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 everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.